Hello all you gorgeous creatures. Today we are looking at Painted with Raven, episode 6, hashtag twinning. Bryce is unfortunately going to be muted this episode, so we're not going to get to see any of his work. And it's a shame because it's getting down to the wire. It's nice to see him in such good spirits, and it's a little crazy seeing him here because he was one of the frontrunners. The homework assignment this week is to paint the illusion of wearing a mask across your eyes. First up is Jamon, and he's giving us Vegemon. This seedling has sprouted, and isn't it beautiful? I'm liking this color story. The paint splatter is a nice touch. I'm liking how he made this three-dimensional. I don't care for the green lashes underneath, but I understand that he wanted to give us kind of a, you know, plant sprouting. But it's still a fun color palette, and it's a cute look. It's going to be magic. Next up is Jordan, and he's giving us some more anime vibes. The gold on top with the little half moon crescent, it's totally giving me Sailor Moon vibes. And he gave us more shape with, by adding paper. It's another lovely color pairing. It's clean, it's neat, petite, and ready to eat. It's going to be magic. Next up is Matt, and he's giving us a helmet-inspired makeup look. It's giving me World of Warcraft tea, and it also reminds me of Mordekaiser from League of Legends. I like how he's giving us some cheekbones with this makeup little graininess on the edges. It's simple, but it's well done. It's going to be magic. Next up is Yvonne, and she is serving us some Crayola realness. I love the highlight she did on top of the crowns. She got that nice green and yellow across the eyes. It's more outside of the box. It's more creative. I think it looks great. How do y'all pronounce it? Crayon? Crown? She gave us a nice little array of colors. It looks good. It's going to be magic. Next up is Taj, and he's giving us a lovely masquerade. He said this is inspired by the knight. His siblings call him Man-Man as opposed to Batman, and I thought that was pretty cute. I like how he has these black stones hugging the sides of his eyes, and that black into that blue. So stunning. He just knows how to blend that mug, girl. And that purple and dark smoky eye. Sexy. This mask would go lovely with a nice set of lingerie. I'm going to have to visit Savage X after this. Another lovely mask. It's going to be magic. Next up is Ryan, and she too is taking us to the ball. She's giving us a masquerade moment. I love all the stones that she used. The feathers are a nice touch on the side of the head. And she did some lovely shading. It's a pretty mask, y'all. It's going to be magic. Now, where are the Phantom of the Opera daddies at, though? The winner of the homework assignment is Yvonne. I feel like she pushed a little bit more outside of the box, and it was creative and fun. The guest judges this episode are the Kaplan twins, Allie and Lexi, and they are looking like cute little girls. They paint together, and they have a lot of lovely pieces. They like to attack a single canvas, and one of the girls mentioned how she sat on her sister. They're nice and bubbly, and I love it when twins are in sync. They just naturally harmonize, and it's fun to listen to. I wonder if their art is expensive. It's face time, and this week, the artists were paired up and have to serve us some identical looks. The main challenge is hashtag twinning. And they also have to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Norvina makeup that they were provided. First up are Yvonne and Ryan, and they're serving us an explosion of color. I am loving the graphic nature of this. Did a mime stumble into the gay bar? This is gorgeous. But is it identical to the tea? To me, Yvonne's looks a little bit more severe up in here. Whereas Ryan's is more soft and blended a little more outward. They still look absolutely stunning, but there are some slight differences here. It also kind of reminds me of a paint palette. They also took inspo from the Kaplan twins themselves. Yvonne mentioned how she liked the black and white with the contrasting colors. And these chicas know how to beat that mug. This is going to be magic. Next up are Taj and Jordan. And don't they look party? They are giving us a more quintessential drag look. It's not over-the-top crazy, but it's really beautiful, and there is a lot of use of color here. These looks also have some slight differences, such as the dots above the lips. Taj's has multiple colored dots, whereas Jordan only has green. And Taj's blend looks softer as opposed to Jordan's more severe smokiness. Come on, gay polio. It's a fetching paint job. They look good. It's going to be magic. Next up or Matt and Jamon, and they are giving us a space galaxy fantasy. It's more of a fun and whimsical, unique look, and I am always here for new and creative things. 
The meteor crashing down, it's a little bit bigger in between Matt's eyes as opposed to Jamon's, but other than that, this is pretty identical. Jamon's looks a little bit more wet as opposed to Matt's more matte look, but it also could be a lighting thing. In a galaxy far, far away, you still gonna get ghosted, girl. This one was playful. It had a lot of impact, pun intended, and I want to see more of the story. It's going to be magic. The tops of the week are Matt and Jamon. And the bottoms are going to be Taj and Jordan. No one really dropped the ball this episode, but theirs did have the most inconsistencies. My most magical homework assignment look is going to be Yvonne. It was unexpected, the paint job was gorgeous, and I wanted to reach in for some more crowns. My most magical FaceTime look is going to be Yvonne and Ryan. Although I really loved the direction that Matt and Jamon took theirs in, there was just so much color in the palettes that they were provided, and I felt that Yvonne and Ryan really tapped into that. I wanted to see more of that gay mime duo. The quick paint challenge this week is to deliver the perfect winged eyeliner. Taj and Jordan give us their best attempt, and I find Taj's to be a more interesting shape, but I found Jordan's to be a little bit cleaner. Jordan is marked safe after the challenge, and in a shocking twist, Taj is also marked as safe. Neither of the two are going to be muted, and there will be no homework assignment for next week. Here come the twists and turns, girls. Raven also announces that next week, it's going to be double or nothing, leaving the artist gooped and gagged. This means that the top two next week are going to automatically make it into the finale. And the rest of the cast are going to have their scores wiped clean and will all compete in a battle royale for the final spot in the finale. Talk about a wild card, huh? The artists are convulsing with excitement because we are almost at the finish line. They better bring their A game because... Mama, this is it. Here is the scoreboard thus far. Matt is barely in the lead, followed by Yvonne and Taj. And then in the middle, we have Bryce and Jamon, and trailing behind respectively is Jordan and Ryan. But don't focus on these scores because next week, these are going to completely change. This week's closing words of inspiration come from Phyllis Diller. It's a good thing beauty is only skin deep, or else I'd be rotten to the core.